The Burt Show on all the hits Q100. Give it up for the fabulous Tom Gleason. Goodbye, my love. You're beautiful. <laughs> You're trying to make me cry, right? You're beautiful. It's <laughs> a lot of buttons there to push. You're beautiful. It's true. Maybe by year eight, you'll get it all figured out. <laughs> I saw you. James Blunt in studio with The Burt Show this morning. All right. I'm about to ask you a potentially offensive question. Give me, give me a bit of, give me a bit of microphone before you do. <laughs> well, that's how we ask our um, offensive questions: is we turn your microphone off and yeah, then ask them. Because I'm not really interested with your answer. <laughs> of all the parodies of your beautiful in the world, yes, it is not the Weird Al Yankovic, which is the one that I would always listen to. It is the one by a very special comedian <gasps> called Tom Gleason. We have it, and it is genius. We have it. Can we play it? While what? you're listening to it here, go on, play a bit. Go for it. Come on, that wasn't How the right? that wasn't the offensive question I was going to ask you. <laughs> um, okay, no, you can't touch me there. So I. W- <laughs> 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 I really didn't think that would be offensive. <laughs> um, but before we get into the offensive question, let's play the parody that you're talking about because I had never heard it until this morning, and I just heard a little clip of it. And we weren't really sure how you were going to react to it. I think it's great, really. I think, you know, uh, it's, a huge, uh, it's a huge form of flattery to have a parody in the first place. But to have a good one um, is, uh, is even better. Well, it is very funny that concern, I think, was that you have heard it so many times and at every wacky radio show you've gone to has played it. And at this point, you're like, oh, my God, seriously. I wonder, normally I'm the one who's told them about it, actually. Oh, really? really? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is the uh, parody that James Blunt is talking about. And this is one of the guys from um, Flight, of, Flight of the Concords on HBO. And what's his name? I don't know, but someone came up to me the other day and said, hey, you're Brit, or Brett, or something like that. And I said, yeah, you know, you're right, I am British. <laughs> uh, and he, they kept on going, oh, my God, and you're famous, and it's incredible to meet you. And, uh, and they, you know, Brett, it's really good to, to, you know, will you sign this, Brett? Will you? And I said, no, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm British, but no, my name's James. And he said, stop lying to us, come on, we know that you're Brett from Flight of the Concord. And <laughs> 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 hey, just celebrity, just the wrong one. This it's is a, a comedian named Tom Gleason. Tom Gleason. Let's give it up for the fabulous Tom Gleason. <laughs> Do you all like the song "You're Beautiful" by James Blunt? Yes. You like that? You don't like it? Yeah, no, I, I don't know if I like it because it, people think it's romantic, but it's not, right? If you listen to it properly, it's just about James Blunt staring at a girl on a train, <laughs> right? I reckon that sounds a bit sus, right? Can you play it nice and loud? Have a listen properly, right? Like, imagine being the boyfriend of the girl that he's just staring at, right? You're on a train, minding your own business. James Blunt walks up to you. My life is brilliant. Yeah, good for you, mate. Try not to look at him, okay? He'll go away. Don't make eye contact. Just ignore him. My life is brilliant. You said that. My love is pure. What does that mean? An angel. This angel. Of that I'm sure. Right. She smiled at me on the subway. Here we go. <laughs> with another man. Yeah, that'd be me, mate. <laughs> I won't sleep on that. Cause I've got a plan. That plan better include kissing off. Oh. You're beautiful. <laughs> I know. You're beautiful. Yeah, I know she is. You're beautiful. It's true. Why do you think I asked her out in the first place? <laughs> I saw your face. <laughs> you can go and get your own girlfriend. <laughs> you <Yeah>, that one. <laughs> you believe this guy? I knew we should have got a taxi. Why do we always have to get the weirdo? <laughs>
let herself go a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I wipe that bloody smile off your face. When she saw it, I said I should be with you. What do you mean should be with you? What should supposed to mean? Don't you think I'm good enough? But it's time to face the truth. And what would that be? <laughs> I will never be <laughs> with you. All right, here's your dollar now. Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> That one doesn't offend you at all. Uh, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> have, have you met uh, Tom, the comedian? No, no, I haven't. But I've been a, uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, a great fan. Very funny. You guys, ha you have to somehow arrange a live version of that. Yeah, it it's would be a, great, wouldn't it? It's perfect for like an, MT an MTV type award yeah. show. Right. Oh, that's a great idea. I don't know if you can make it through without laughing. I know. Though. Yeah, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, James Blunt, the new CD is called All the Lost Souls. It is out on September 18th. Well, let's hear something that's uh, off of the CD, and then we'll talk to you more about it. Okay. Tom's not in the room, is he? No, he's not. Tom's not here. <laughs> You're safe. <laughs>